What's up everybody? Happy Sunday from Connor Sullivan. I'm sorry I didn't have a video yesterday. I had a football game, but today we're back at it again with something very, very important. So pay attention, it's gonna be a short video and I hope that it hits you guys in the heart, but this is something that's coming off of my second channel and if you haven't already subscribed, my second channel is about me giving talks and I'm promoting it on this channel because I think it's very important. So listen to this video, subscribe to my second channel and if you're new to the channel, my name's Connor Sullivan, I come from Los Angeles in America. I moved to Stuttgart, Germany two months ago to play American football and I'm gonna be here for a few months and I'm gonna talk about Germany, talk about my experiences. First of all, check back on the videos that I've made in the past. See if you like what you see, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to my other channel, but pay attention to this video because I wanna use YouTube, like I said in the past, for something more than just entertainment. I wanna use it for inspiration. I wanna use it to inspire people in this world to do what they've been called to do and that's really Serious to me. Peace, y'all. Thanks for watching. How's it going, guys? This is day three. I'm currently in Germany in a random meadow, and I have an important topic to talk about. This is very, very important if you want to live the life that you know you're called to live. It's about the opinions. And now I'm going to get energetic because when I talk about this, it means a lot to me. Uncut videos, me to you, right here. The opinions of other people. Okay? There's a time to take them, and there's a time to not. And most of the time, is a time to not, especially when it involves you following your own life path and your own life goals and dreams. This is why I'm speaking on this, because sometimes even I, yes, I think about the opinions of others and give those things too much weight. If I know, or if you know that you are convicted in your heart of something, that you know that you should go for this dream, that you should try out for this class or this team, that you should become a doctor instead of a lawyer, or maybe become an artist instead of a doctor or a lawyer. If you know in your heart and you've done enough soul searching to know this, then the opinions of other people should not sway you away from these things because I've been in situations where I know 100%, me and myself in the mirror, we both agree that this is what you should do. And then I ask other people to try to get confirmation. And if the other people could go, 100% it's a great idea. Then I go, oh man, my decision was right. But if those, the same people would say about the same exact situation, you know what, I don't think I would do that. Then in my heart I start doubting. There's no reason for that. Why would you ever doubt that just because of someone else's opinion? Think about this. Everybody in the world has their own personal interest in mind when giving you advice. Even me, if you would ask me, Connor, what should I do? What should I, should I go travel? I, in my own personal opinion, would say yes, because for me, it's something that has helped me. But that's my own personal thoughts because of the life that I live. You have something totally unique. You've seen things I haven't seen. You've seen things your parents haven't seen. You've felt things in your own heart. You've read different books. You know what you're called to do. So, no matter what Susie or David say, those are your friends, I made up their names. But no matter what they say, or what they might feel that you should do, you should always go for your dreams. Do not let the opinions of other people discourage you from going for your dream. And, and this is another thing to keep in mind. If your dream is not gonna hurt somebody else, or it's not gonna hurt yourself, if it's purely a dream in your heart that you think that you should go for, because it's gonna be beneficial, go for it. Go for it. I'm telling you right now, if I am that person to push you over the edge, for you to go for it, then, then good, okay? There's no shame in trying and failing. There's nothing, nothing shameful about that. But there is a shame in knowing that you have to do something and not doing it, because at the end of your life, you're gonna have a regret. So go for it, because then you're always gonna know what you could have accomplished in that thing that you thought you should do, all right? And this could apply to many, many, many things. I'm thinking in my head right now, a whole, whole list, but in whatever it applies to you right now, do it, okay? Because you're gonna be happy, at the end of the day, you're gonna look in the mirror and say, look, I did it. All right, I'm gonna close with this. Yes, your parents and your friends and all those people hopefully are well-meaning and they want, they want the best for you, all right? They want the best for you. But at the very end of the day, as a man, as a woman, as someone who has control over their entire own life, you have to make the decisions that are best for what you know that you have to do. Like I said, if it's not hurting anybody else and it's not hurting yourself, go for the dream that you've been called to because I have heard too many stories of people even my own friends saying, I wish I would have done this. But then my friend or my girlfriend 
That's a big one. The boyfriend and the girlfriend not allowing you to go for a dream because somebody truly loves you would encourage you to go for the dream. They would say, look, how can I help? You have to do it. You're young once. You have energy once. You know, go do it. And if they don't encourage you, I would consider you, I would encourage you to reconsider that relationship. I'm not a relationship expert, but I've seen things happen where my friends have been like, man, I didn't go for a dream because someone told me not to. And now I regret it. But no, the people that love you and the people that encourage you, like me, hopefully, I would encourage you, you know, if I was your friend, to go for that dream because, because this is the thing I'm going to end on. What's the point of playing it safe in life? There's no point of playing it safe. Like, I want to do this with my life. But the safe option would be to, you know, get a law, law degree, practice law. But what if you don't even like law and you're just doing it just to do it? What's the point of that? Dude, I would rather, this is my personal opinion again, I would rather be homeless on the streets making artwork, doing what I love, man, and bringing passion to people. By doing that, people walk by the street and they say, man, this guy's good at what he does because he loves it so much. I would rather do that than be an average lawyer. Uh -huh. So then law, law services, because I don't like that stuff. So I wouldn't do it. It's a waste of time to me. I have one life and I feel like it's my job to give back to humanity the gifts that I've been given, all right? So that's my pondering. If you have more questions, I would love to elaborate. Thank you for watching this video, uncut version. I hope you like it. With me to you, personally, less edits, less cuts. I hope I can inspire at least one of you guys. And I hope you enjoyed walking through this lovely German meadow with me. Check back tomorrow for more videos or more encouraging videos. Um, comment below what you think I should uh, do next. Also, subscribe to my main channel where I travel the world and have crazy adventures. But I want to continue to use YouTube for what I think it is best used for. To encourage, to share the love, change the world. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Boom, baby.